In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the richest men in the world, Bill Gates, and seeing how the tech mogul spent his birthday this year. With a global pandemic, you would think that would keep Bill Gates tied to his mansion that sits on Lake Washington for his birthday bash, but you would be wrong, because the rich don't follow any rules, including staying home during a pandemic. Because Bill Gates went on a luxurious trip to a Turkish cove for his birthday, and now you're going to get an exclusive look into the glorious birthday bash. You're not gonna want to miss a second of this video, because the inside look at this birthday party on steroids will leave you speechless. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Are you wondering why you didn't get an invite to Bill Gates' birthday? Well, do I have good news for you. Your invite either got lost in the mail, or you were in the same boat as the other nearly 8 billion people on this planet that also did not receive an invite to the soiree. That's right, this birthday party already had a guest list so short that it makes Peter Dinklage look like a giant. Only 50 guests were invited to Mr. Gates' party, and those 50 included some very famous names, including Amazon's founder and executive chairman Jeff Bezos. The other guests in attendance were not released to protect their privacy, and the staff who worked the event were prohibited from using their phones or any other device capable of capturing the event while on shift. This kept some details of the party pretty private, but we will still have tons of info on this guest gathering of the elites, like its location. The party took place at Si Mi Beach, just off the coach of Mugla, a province in southwestern Turkey. Gates arrived there before the rest of his guests on his 107-meter superyacht, Lana, and the rest of the guests were flown in by helicopter. Because of course they were. The party lasted for about four hours and was fully catered by with local sushi, seafood, and pizza. It's nice to know that the world's elite are still scarfing down pizza and sushi at a birthday party, just like the rest of us. The party also included a copious amount of champagne that I can only assume paired perfectly with the combination of sushi, shrimp, and pizza because when you're worth $136 billion, you only drink the good stuff. If you are worth $136 billion, why party in Turkey of all places? In classic billionaire fashion, Gates has been traveling the coast of the country on his previously mentioned super yacht, Lana, for the past few weeks. Gates visited the country to take in the warm weather and amazingly clear waters of the nation, which boasts land in both Asia and Europe, as a matter of fact. Turkey actually has many spectacular destinations that are very popular amongst tourists such as Istanbul, Cappadocia, Antalya, and of course the beach town of Bodrum, which Gates actually visited only days prior to his birthday party at See Me Beach. Gates also visited the very famous Maryam Anya Avi, or better known in English as the House of Virgin Mary. It is believed that the body of the Virgin Mary has ascended into heaven in that very spot thousands of years ago. A spot with so much historical and religious importance obviously had to be visited by Bill Gates, of course. I mean, when in Turkey, am I right? Gates was using the super yacht as transportation and was paying about $2 million a week to use it, according to media reports. Gates was also using his private helicopter to travel inland whenever he so desired. And I mean, I would have done the same thing last week but my helicopter is in the shop, so unfortunately, I had to settle for staying in my basement again. Although the party was kept private, some people did manage to say a few words on social media. Bill Gates' oldest daughter, Jennifer Gates, posted a few pictures and a nice message to her father on his 66th birthday via Instagram. The post makes it unclear as to whether or not she attended the bash, but we can only assume that she at least got an invite. The picture that was included with the message was of Jennifer with her father on her wedding day, and the post read, Happy Happy 66th at This Is Bill Gates. Grateful to learn from her example of endless curiosity, constant exploration, and desire to help humanity. Jennifer went on to say, Excited to hear about what you learn in this next turn around the sun. The picture and the caption do not make her attendance status very clear, but I for one find it hard to believe that Jennifer did not make an appearance at her dad's birthday. Jennifer had her wedding very recently on October 16th, 2021, where she married Niall Nassar, an Egyptian equestrian, say that ten times fast, Bezos 
and other prestigious guests stayed quiet on social media front about the birthday bash, likely out of respect for the other guests' privacy. Other than expensive European Asian birthday parties, what else is Bill Gates up to? The founder of Microsoft and former richest man in the world surely cannot be partying all the time, right? When he is not sailing the Turkish coast or washing down a spicy tuna roll and a slice of pizza with champagne, what else is Bill Gates doing? Recently, Bill Gates and his company Microsoft have been hard at work improving the world's AI systems and attempting to revolutionize AI as we know it. Real AI is the company's name for their take on artificial intelligence, and they plan on taking the AI world by storm. Their AI plans on giving people with disabilities a much easier time using technology thanks to predictive text. Microsoft wants to use an algorithm that will allow for people's mannerisms and actions to be remembered and recognized by people's devices, allowing them to have an easier experience each time they use their device. The idea is to assist people with disabilities and to assist people as they get older because according to Dave Dame, the ringleader behind Real AI, stated that as we get older, our bodies begin to shut down to some degree, essentially giving everyone some sort of disability as they age. Whether that's poor eyesight, poor hearing, difficult mobility, the list can really go on forever. However, Dame himself suffers from cerebral palsy and has used AI in his entire career at Microsoft to make his job much easier. And he aims to make everyone's life easier with his advancements to AI. Along with Microsoft's advancements in AI, they've been hard at work trying to improve the lives of thousands of students across across America and the world. Microsoft has gifted students in need thousands of dollars worth of technology that has greatly assisted their education. For example, Graham Young, an 11-year-old student who suffers from a neurological disability that robs him of his ability to read and write, has been given the chance to succeed in school due to his use of Microsoft's speech-to-text feature and their immersive reader program that comes on many Microsoft products. Additionally, during the pandemic, Microsoft gifted many rural schools across across America, laptops and tablets so schools could continue to teach from home, ensuring that nobody was left behind. The works of Microsoft with both their dedication to advancing technology and their want to aid people and students all over the world has been a bright spot during some dark times. What has been going on in his personal life? As good as it looks for Microsoft as of late, Bill Gates' personal life has taken a bit of a hit recently. Bill and his wife of 27 years, Melinda Gates, finalized their divorce from each other in April of 2021, stating the reason to be their lack of growth as a couple as they advance in age. But is this really the only reason? Melinda had already expressed her displeasure with Bill long before they divorced. In the year 2000, Bill had an affair with a Microsoft employee, which was handled by lawyers and resulted in Bill Gates stepping down from the Microsoft board. In 2011, Bill Gates began a professional relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, which Melinda protested against multiple times. She said she was uncomfortable with Bill keeping Epstein in his circle of friends, but he continued to do it anyway. This was apparently a big reason as to why the couple got divorced, which adds up to me. Why would you want to be with someone who is good friends with a pedophile sex trafficker? The divorce was announced in 2019 and was finalized not long after in 2021. Bill now continues his philanthropy work through Microsoft and his own personal contributions and is trying to make amends for his previous questionable actions. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you were a billionaire, where would you have your 66th birthday? Who would make your exclusive invite list? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free to you and it only takes a few clicks and it really helps out the channel. Thanks again and we will see you in the next video.